you excuse me for a moment while my head explodes? Because the Jets have drafted in the last <laughs> five years a quarterback at number three and at number two. Mm. Are they now going to take one at number one as well in, in a five-year stretch? It is already unprecedented. You're telling me that there is already reason to be thinking about whether or not the Jets will give up on Zach Wilson after this year. Yeah, there's no question about it in my mind, Greeny, because you're talking about the opportunity cost of it all. Do you want to be in a position that the New York Giants are in with Daniel Jones, where they passed on Justin Herbert thinking that they had their franchise quarterback? No, you don't want to do that. So this is something that the Jets would have to consider. And let's also keep this in mind. If Zach Wilson has a terrible year because of injury or otherwise, then not only are you talking about a new quarterback, you're probably talking about a new general manager, too. Hmm. Well, this couldn't be going worse. I mean, why, uh, Sacho, can you give me any reason to feel any optimism, hope, or joy? I got nothing for you, Greeny. I mean, like, so obviously the, so the injury is one thing. And then saying, okay, maybe it's going to be Joe Flacco. But what we saw from Joe Flacco last year didn't give us too much to be overly excited about. And so, like, for me, I am not too excited if I'm a Jets fan, not only because of the injury to Zach Wilson, but because of the play of Zach Wilson. So that's it, huh? So, I mean, we, we had this great draft, we had this great offseason, it's August 15th, and now we're moving on from that. Is that was White had a 400-yard game against the oh, eventual AFC it, champion stop Bengals. It. Listen, Lynn There's Saturday with the, the man Knicks is looking for hope. than the legend of Mike White. He's stop looking it. for some hope. I'm trying to help. There is no hope. He's, back He's a Jets fan. There is no hope. That goes without saying.